My name is Ayushi Uberoi. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the laboratory of Dr. Elizabeth Grice at the University of Pennsylvania. I work in the Department of Dermatology and I study the role of skin microbiome in regulating skin barrier function. When I was doing my PhD, it was um, uh, then that I read actually the paper from Dr. Elizabeth Grice, my current mentor, which was the first paper ever to describe skin microbiome. And at that point, and even right now, a lot of infectious disease studies focus on one pathogen interacting with the host. But the fact that there are actually millions of microbes uh, around the skin and how they affect the skin is not known. So that was a huge unknown that was fascinating to me. And that is why I wanted to study skin microbiome, that we need to move from studying one pathogen, one host interaction, but actually study how all these factors uh, come into play in totality and affect infections. So basically, we set out to answer this question that how do skin microbes regulate the homeostasis functions of the skin and are there any differences? And for that, we made use of a very powerful system in the microbiome world, which is we make use of germ-free mice. So these are mice that are raised and generated in the absence of microbiome. So when we compared the skin transcriptomes of mice that were germ-free with mice that have a microbiome, we actually found a lot of differences which were at the skin developmental level and even in regulating skin differentiation processes. And I wanted to understand then that, great, at this gene expression level, we see differences, but do they have functional ramifications on skin barrier function? And how does that affect susceptibility to diseases? A lot of skin microbiome research is very new. And what we found is that actually most of the efforts in dermatology or a lot of therapies that have been studied have been studied in the context of Caucasian skin. And there are a lot of differences though uh, between Caucasian skin and skin of other ethnicities. However, there are a lot of unknowns, which makes a lot of this research relevant. And what is unique about what we're doing is that we're trying to study skin probiotics and trying to come up with specific targets for skin microbiome research. So a lot of skin diseases are often treated with antibiotic uses. And actually that has led to this worldwide epidemic of antimicrobial resistance. So we think that by tapping into the skin microbiome, we can actually come up with therapies that can circumvent the problem of antimicrobial resistance. The products from the Applied Biosystems technology was very useful for us in actually validating a lot of the targets that we identified from next generation sequencing. It was not possible to keep on doing RNA sequencing on every experiment that we do. And one of the major products that was extremely helpful, especially for reproducibility, was to obtain custom-based qPCR cards. They made our life extremely easy because otherwise the process involves setting up very complicated 384-well qPCR plates, but with the custom-based array cards, we were able to get them synthesized for the genes of our interest. And what was best was that each a sample ran in replicates. It was easy to work with, and uh, we were able to reproducibly verify that the targets that we were identifying of interest indeed matched in different experimental setups. So one of the most exciting things about studying microbiome is that it represents these infinite possibilities. So the fact that we have all these different opportunities and these questions that are still unanswered, to me, that is fascinating. And uh, just that glimmer of hope that you will find something new that no one has seen before, that's very exciting to me and gets me up every morning.